Okie dokie, already tokies, I'm back. I had to eat something. Uh, I was going to tell you also, I'm outside of Value Village waiting on Metro Lift. And the HEB that I like to go to is across the street, but it's like a four or five lanes, one way street. So there was no way I was going to cross it. But I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the HEB and I look to the right and there's a Katz's Delicatessen. I love a good Reuben sandwich, but they are so expensive. And I was really hungry. And then I started thinking, uh, I bought all this stuff to make a Reuben. I don't use Thousand Island dressing. I don't like it. I use mayonnaise or nothing at all. This time, I didn't use anything at all. So anyway, we're going to go through the haul. I did have one uh, disappointment. Yeah. So I want to show you my receipt. I got... Uh, it's probably upside down, but it's not. So I got 18 items, as you can see. And it came to roughly $92, you know, tax, whatever. So that makes these uh, like $5 and some change. So each thing comes to $5. So I found this Roblox Master Gamer's Guide. Didn't know anything about it. Scanned it. You know, it's, it's, I don't know what they priced it at. Oh, they have it at. $9.99. It actually sells more than that on eBay. It's about $12. So I picked that up just because, you know, people love gaming. Now, this is a little bit of Houston history. I found one that said 1970s, uh, but this is 1976, the Houston Post. That uh, we have two, well, we had two newspapers in Houston uh, when we moved here in 1972. It was the Houston Post and the Houston Chronicle. Uh, the Houston Chronicle is still around, but the Houston Post has been gone for a while. So it's like just history, kind of about Houston and everything. So you can see, November, it's like the whole year, stuff that happened that year, history from the past, and there you go, there's June. I don't know, what that's scary. But I thought that it was really interesting. I, like I said, I de did see one that said 1970s, and it was like $15, so I figured I'd price that about the same. Now, this surprised me. This was $5. It was $4.94. Uh, it's the Road to Avonlea. Uh, it's a four disc. They're all in there. They look great. This used, which of course it is, actually sells for $18. New, it sold for $34. So, yeah, we snagged that. Now, I cannot find a price on this, but I think I'm going to go for $15. Um, as you can see, it's worn piece. It's got Anthony Hopkins in it, and it is a six uh, cassette uh, VHS. Six, uh, you know, I don't even know how to say it anymore because I don't watch VHS, but y'all get the, you get the gist. It's a VHS set. Yeah. Yeah. With six tapes. Uh, I, I can't find a price and even has a barcode. I tried to go to Amazon, but the, I just got this. I had to replace my phone because the other one, y'all know, wouldn't videotape. It stopped taking pictures. Every time I went to any site, like to pay a bill or check my email, it didn't remember my passwords. Half the time didn't remember me. So every time I went to an app, I had to change my password. No. So I contacted the seller. I actually got it through Amazon. And uh, they're like, well, do this. You know, uh, delete apps, delete documents, go to my files, you know, factory restart. Well, I did all that, but factory restart. And nothing worked. I cleared the cache, uh, and it would come right back, like, like I never did anything. So it was a refurb. Well, this one was actually cheaper than the refurb, and it's just open box. It, that means it's never been used. The box was just open. So, yeah, we'll take that. Okay. So, I found these insoles. That is upside down, I bet. So, they go for about... Well, they sold originally for $17.99 and uh, $19.99. So, I think I'm going to price them both at $15 because, as you can see, they are new. They're sealed. They've never been opened. So, we'll probably do that. This surprised me. Let's see how much was that. That was $4.94 also. It's Elgin. Uh, let's see if you can see what that says. Anyway, it's for the bottom of your foot. It shows a picture on eBay, but it's like some kind of massager or something. You put your, you put your foot on it. But it was, 
$4.94 and it sells for about $20.25 as well. Uh, these John Grisham, these are on cassette, so it's, you know, an audiobook on cassette. It's the client. Sells for about nine. Uh, this one is Pelican Brief. Uh, they're all in there as well. It, uh, is that upside down? No, that was right the first time, Virginia. So that sells for about eight. I'm thinking about lining them together, but sometimes when you lot stuff together, they just sit there. All right, now these are cute. I, I know y'all saw me pick these up, but I... I said to you I didn't know what they were, um, but I looked them up, and they're called Winter Animal, like, cards. It's like a, like a matching game for small children, and I just thought they were so cute. Uh, they come in sets of three, so for $3, they sell for six each, so that's 12 bucks. So you're quadrupling your money on that, which is great. Now, let me show you this. There's a couple things over here. Let me move stuff so you can see. Now, this is really cute. Now, I did pay $10 for that. But all the pieces are in there. I put it together to make sure it worked. It does. Uh, like I said, I paid $10. It sells for about $20 pre owned. Okay. So, you know, we're doubling our money. I mean, that's, I had to open both sides of the box to get it out. Now, this sells for about $20, $25 used. Uh, it was $5.95, if you could see that. It has all the pieces in it. It's like, a, it's an attachment kit for your, your dirt devil, if you can see. It says it fits all royal handbags. And inside of it, I guess whoever owned it had bought dirt devil bags. There's three in this bag. Uh, the other two are over here. And they were inside there. These sell uh, for $6 each. $6 each. So I'm going to lock them up and I'm going to ask 15 because they were free. I, I didn't pay for them. They were in there. So, hey, we'll do that. So, of course, you know, I have to take pictures and list everything, close the boxes back up. What I like to do is I like to get everything ready for shipping. And then I put uh, really uh, big post-it notes on it so that I know what it is and how much it weighs and, you know, things like that. I don't put the item number on it or any of that. Now, big disappointment was this Play-Doh kitchen. <sighs> yeah, it is. Let me show you what it doesn't have. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have that roasting pan. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have that. Yeah. And only had three things of Play-Doh, and I think it's supposed to come with, like, nine. Uh, now, I do have light bulbs for it. It needs a light bulb. I do have, I don't know why. Well, because it lights up, Virginia. Um, and it makes sound. So, I'm going to have to hook it up, you know, to make sure it works. And, honestly, I uh, knew they're going for, like, 40 anywhere between 30 and $40. This is missing stuff. Like, I've got this part right here, right there. But I don't have, I guess, these little muffin tins or whatever. Uh, so I go through the box and I'm feeling a lot of stuff in there and I'm excited. I'm like, oh man, it feels like it's all in there. Now apparently, whatever little girl this belonged to, she had a brother. And apparently he wanted to donate as well. Bless his little heart. So he stuck this in there. Yeah. Yay. I think this must go to that. No, I don't even know what the hell that is. I guess it's just by itself. I don't know who makes it. I don't know if this is Lego or not. I, I mean, there's... I don't see any... It looks like Lego, but it could be that other brand. Which, uh, I can't remember right now. It is Echo there. See, it seems like... See, that's missing. Whatever goes there. I, I don't know. But, you know, I guess he wanted to donate stuff too. So, yay. I'm stuck with this shit. It's going to have to, I don't know, donate it. <laughs> I kind of hate to give it back. But, yeah, I mean, I'm disappointed. It, I might just take it back because this is really doing me no good. I'm not going to get squat for that. Not, I'm not going to get squat. So, I don't even know how much I paid for it. There was no price on that that I, oh, wait, there it is. How much was it? Oh, uh, three dollars and ninety-three cents. I could probably get fifteen. They can use them as like replacement parts, but look at all the stuff I'm missing. I'm missing so much stuff out of there. Like that roasting pan, that plate, 
the silverware, or plasticware, whatever you want to call it, it's just a damn crying shame. Wow, that's cool. So anyway, that was a major disappointment. But, you know, you never know. You can't, you know, you can't open a lot of stuff there because they'll be like, excuse me, why are you opening that damn box? Because I want to see what's in it. All right, now I did get some clothes. Hold on. Yes, I'm smoking. It'll be okay. All right. Now, I got these. They're, um, <clears throat> I think they're Loft, which isn't that made by, uh, what's her name, Taylor? Yeah, there it is, Ann Taylor. They're cute, too modern. I don't remember what size they are. I think they're on the, mm, they were $5. I figured I'd, I'll find a tag and, uh, see what size they are. I like them. I wish they fit me, but pff, that ain't never gonna happen. Well, it might if I just wear a lot of uh, girdles or shapewear, whatever you want to call it. So that's Ann Taylor's good. Y'all know Ann Taylor's good product. I haven't looked them up yet. Uh, these are those O'Neill. Uh, uh, Y'all, where's my face? Where's my mouth? Where's my words? It's swimsuit. Oh my goodness! I said O'Neill swimsuit. I really like it. I checked it out. There's no fraying. Or piddling, I guess they call it too, when the fabric, you know, gets those little balls on it. But as you can see, it is O'Neill. And it looks like it's a good size. Pretty average size. It says O'Neill real big. We like that. We like that. But I will investigate further. And then I did get these just because, oops, I like them. I like them. Uh, and what size? What? See, they're an extra large. I guess, is that boys extra large? What does that mean? Nah. That isn't. We'll see how big they are. Yeah, that might be a, no. No, that's gotta be a men's extra large, right? We'll do, like I said, more investigating. Now y'all know I got these, I told you. These are uh see, I think these maybe they are boys. This is an extra large. They were $1.60. They're like wrestling pants or something, I think. Yeah, it says wrestling on the side. But I like, you know, we're American. Well, I'm American. I don't know if everybody is, but God bless. No matter what anybody says, I love my country. I might not like all my politics, but yeah, that's a Y for youth. So that's a youth extra large. Okay. We figured that one out, y'all. Now, I got this bathing suit. I got this bathing suit because... Well, you know, I was a big girl once. I'm st I'm, I'm not uh, a skinny mini by any means. But, uh, you know, it's hard to find a decent bathing suit that covers all your stuff. So I got this. I thought it was really cute. You see that? I like it. And it's um, that guy at Target uh, with the dark hair. Oh, what's his name? Let me find the tag. Y'all were so prepared for me, weren't you? I hope you got a snack and a drink and you've gone to the restroom because, you know, it's going to take a while. Mazar, what is his name? And now why can't I find it? He's a designer. I think he was on, like, a, oh, what was that show with Heidi Klum and the guy with the white hair? I don't know. But they made clothes. Okay, well, I can't find it, but it's Maz... What is his name? Okay, I'm just wasting our time. I'm just wasting our time. Now, I, now Elias and his family... Well, Elias's dad is from Iowa. Uh, Elias was born there. And I found this shirt. It says Iowa State. So, it's the property... Of Iowa State. They're the Cyclones. It's XXL, which I'm sure is for children. But Elias's father has a very small frame. I don't know if you get that just can't that has no, that is not an extra large. It's I wanna show y'all the tag because you know I can't see shit. Jammers. But that's really all it says. I don't see his size anywhere. 
if y'all do, let me know. You know, I like it when y'all comment. Maddie always comments. There's three people I say all the time that comment. Maddie, my mom, and my sister. Those are like the three people that comment. But y'all, come on. I'm making this channel. I want us to talk to each other. I don't want to be the one that always is la, 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 talking about my life. I can tell y'all stories all damn day. Some of them might scare you. Some of them are going to make you laugh. Here's one. So the other day, Thursday, the day after my surgery, I go to get uh, my follow-up visit. And I'm getting off the metro. So I've already been on the metro. I'm now at Hope Eye Clinic. I'm getting out. And I look down and I forgot to put my shoe on. Yeah, I forgot to put my shoe on. And it was raining, so I couldn't, my foot couldn't touch the ground, so I had to just, you know, lift my feet up and only use my arms. But that was, that was funny to me. Uh, oh, I keep showing you all my cycler. I'm not trying to show you all my kidney crap, but let's look over here. Uh, don't look over there. That's a mess. You see all those books? Ignore the FedEx. That's trash. I just haven't made it to the other room yet. But all those are cookbooks that I don't even use. I don't use those. I, I don't need to use those. So, um... So this morning, I, I'm getting dressed to go, and I told myself, you know, don't forget your shoe. So, anyway, I go to put my pants on. You know, I have to, I have to stand in my chair. I have to put Gimpy in the chair and stand on it uh, on the nub. And I'm I'm pulling up my. They're hard to get. I mean, clothes are just hard to get on. I was putting on capri pants, and uh, so I'm lifting my pants up over. And I'm having a hard time buttoning them, and I can't understand why. Well, you know why? Because I still had my night shorts on. I put my Kirpeet pants on over my night shorts. And I left it that way. Because I wasn't going to do that again. So that's special. I'm special. Um, getting to know me, I'm sure, is fascinating all of you. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted a shout out to... Look at all this mess. I want to give a shout out to Madeline. She's in Mexico now. Um, doing her odd thing, and we are exceptionally proud of her. Um, really proud of her, but she liked my egg roll video, and she said she misses us already. I miss her, too. So, time just went by so fast before she left. I wanted to make her, like, a little, you know, a little gift basket or something with snacks that she might not be able to get down there in Mexico. She's, uh, she's in Mexico City. So I'm like, damn, I, I, I was so disappointed in myself. So Maddie, if you need Maddie, I want you to listen to me. If you need anything, no matter what it is, you need anything, I want you to text me. Okay, you let me know, because I'm thinking about you every day, girl. I'm hoping things are going well. And uh, still waiting on a video of your experiences that you can share with us, mama. All right, everybody. Well, that was my haul. I think it was okay. Really disappointed in the kitchen thing. Like I said, I might just take that back. Really disappointed. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, I don't know where I'm going to go next. I'm trying to venture out, but I really want to get that. Why do I keep focusing on that kidney machine? Nobody wants to see that. I don't even want to see it. Look at the mess I've made. Y'all know the Virgo in, Virgo in me is going to be cleaning that up ASAP. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If there's somewhere you want me to go, please let me know. Don't be shy. Nobody bites here. We don't bite. We're open-minded. We're friendly. I will tell you how I feel if you're ugly, though, because we don't do ugly very well. And God doesn't like it either. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.